America is facing a fiscal crisis of epic proportions, one that threatens our country's ability to provide for the next generation. Federal tax revenue collected by the government is at an all-time high, but it's not growing anywhere near fast enough to keep up with what the government spends. This gap between revenue and spending has led to astronomical deficits, adding to the federal debt every year. Right now, the debt is at $15 trillion, and by 2048, it will climb to nearly $100 trillion, which is 50% larger than our entire economy. This crisis came out of good intentions to strengthen the country and help Americans. But the unfortunate reality is that we have promised more in government benefits than we're able to afford. Regardless of how we got here, the nation's debt is a real and significant threat to our future. A growing debt will weaken the economy and mean fewer opportunities for all Americans. If we want to avoid these catastrophic consequences, we need to fix the budget and we need to do it soon. The longer we wait, the more painful the solutions will be. Waiting means higher taxes and large spending cuts. Those tax increases will mean lower take-home pay, fewer jobs, and lower wages. And spending reductions will compromise our safety and security. The government will be less able to provide infrastructure, handle national emergencies or foreign conflicts, and support social safety net programs that help low-income Americans. Politicians on both sides suggest reforms that sound good, but can't actually solve the problem. Some suggest cutting defense spending, but it would take a 60% cut just to keep long-term debt below 100% of GDP. Others suggest we can keep the debt in check without touching Social Security or federal health care programs. But sparing these programs would require a 20% cut to everything else, again, just to keep the debt below 100%. The truth is that there is a way out and a way forward, but it won't be easy and there's no single silver bullet. We will have to make big trade-offs. With more than half our future spending dedicated to Social Security and federal health care programs, we need to adopt sensible reforms to make them more than empty promises. And it's imperative that we implement policies that promote economic growth. That means policies that increase productivity and get more people working. America is off balance. We have become one nation under debt. However, the good news is that crushing debt doesn't have to be our destiny. And to avoid this fate, we have to start now. To learn more about our country's financial crisis, take the tour and use the calculator to see if you can fix the budget.